Yes, folks, it appears there is going to be a Nintendo Direct still happening this month, despite the Nintendo Museum Direct also happening. That's right, before the end of August, before we get to, well, I don't know, how about that PAX West, where Nintendo will be demoing Echoes of Wisdom and Mario Party Jamboree. That's right, that is a thing happening beginning on August 30th. Before we get to that date, there will be a Nintendo Direct of some type and this is just a really exciting story because things are just happening you know real fast with nintendo right now and we need to talk about this because we're actually going to spend a huge chunk of this video going over the reliability of the person this comes from it does come from a journalist his name is pedro henrique luda lipa you guys know him we've been talking about him a lot ph brazil i've seen a lot of questions in the chat about how reliable this person is questions in the comments about like can we trust this guy and uh you know why should we believe him the only people we believe are nintendo and look i get it nintendo is the ultimate source of their own information when they announce things that's legit uh but obviously when we're covering stuff like this it's important to understand how reliable someone is so i figured for this video and i've done this before i want to go over the reliability of the person uh we'll do that in the second half of the video or maybe it's a majority of the video because there's a lot of stuff to go over uh and you will be able to point back to this video when we report and cover him in the future because spoiler alert uh i think he's actually pretty reliable but we'll get into that later. I want to make sure, though, that you know you guys understand this. We can point back to this and have this all in one spot, just just for easy future reference. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into why we're actually why you're probably here because you want to know what the hell is going on with a Nintendo Direct this month. Well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is where things get a little exciting. So if you guys remember, we talked about this post yesterday. We also talked about it a, you know, over a week ago on August 11th when it happened. Uh, and we mostly focused on the Nintendo Switch 2 stuff. And it's not about Garana, although Garana is a name that might come up a couple of times today because uh, he does translations of this guy right here. This is this guy that I'm, I'm kind of running my mouse over. Uh, that is Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa, otherwise known as PH or Brazil. PH for Pedro Henrique. Brazil, obviously, he's a Brazilian journalist, but he goes by Brazil on forums and social media. Anyways, so this was just like a, a translation about stuff that he said, and it's been backed up and everything. Um, but we focused, obviously, on the Switch 2 stuff, you know, this part here and this part here. Uh, but today we're actually focusing on Nintendo Direct for a couple of reasons. So first we have that some presentations, he doesn't specify which ones, that were scheduled for the end of September seem to have been brought forward to the next couple of weeks. Uh, now, he said that back on August 11th. We all know, obviously, that part of this has already been confirmed. There has been a presentation from Nintendo uh, and that presentation we're, of course, talking about is, well, this, the Nintendo Museum Direct. We already had it. Uh, yeah, like, that. that's one of the, but he said presentations. That's plural. And there were people upset about it on the Reset Era forums, but then he came back and he defended himself uh, because, you know what, uh, he's tired of the BS. And here's what he had to say to this true note person who said there's no way he'd know about the Nintendo Museum and it's convenient. He didn't say what type of presentation it would be. And he said, I understand this attitude because uh, most people out there are just making shit up, but I'm not. I don't mind it on Era or elsewhere, but it does annoy me to see here. I've given you info on every single presentation this past year, and we're going to get into that uh but to your point no this wasn't all i was talking about there's more coming this month more coming this month why would i suggest this would cause movement in the speculation thread what is this part talking about what spe speculation thread is he getting into well if you go back all the way on august 9th he says oh i'm glad you guys already have a thread for this up you might need it sooner than later that's a tease and this thread of course is hey a nintendo direct speculation thread so again if we go all the way back to what he was saying here you know why would i suggest this would cause movement in the speculation thread again well yeah, why would you suggest that if it was just a museum thing? That's a weird thing in a big Nintendo fan base to get people hyped for. Why wouldn't you just say it's the museum thing if that's the big thing you're referencing? And again, there's multiple presentations. So he said, that wasn't all I was talking about. So it was one of the things he was talking about, but not all. So essentially he's saying there's going to be another Direct this month. Now he doesn't clarify if it's a Direct Mini, a General Direct, 
or a partner showcase direct. That last one we're actually going to get to a little bit later when we dive into all of his reliability stuff. Uh, but as you can see, clearly he thinks there'll be a direct. He has reported there's a direct. All right, cool. So we have our sources here on there is going to be another direct this month, and that's exciting. And we could talk you know, ad nauseum about what that direct could be, but now I want to take some time and go into Pedro Henrique's uh, history because history is very, very, very important uh, when it comes to relying on what people are saying and what information they have. So he's been uh, you know, a Brazilian reporter for many, many years, and I'm going to note right now we're not going to go over all of his uh like written reports and editorials for all the outlets he's worked at because they're in Portuguese. I'm not the best at translating that stuff, but we can go over everything he said in the last year on family boards. Cause after all, he did say, I've been giving you information in every presentation for the last year. So let's go over that information. So he first popped up on family boards with the post you're seeing on screen right now. Uh, in terms of adding some info and this info, uh, won't be clarified or proven true until, uh, the Switch 2 comes out, but there's a lot of things you'll see here. Uh, things like backwards compatibility, uh, both physical and digital for Switch 2. He hasn't heard of any automatic upscaling for like backwards compatibility games, but he has heard from three sources about updating games of backwards compatibility for better performance. Of course, we're talking about Switch 2 here. Uh, after the Switch 2 delay news, which he was the first to report on, we're not bringing that one up. That one's widely known. Uh, he did say he thought Switch 2 might be revealed in June. He also said the reveal trailer would be bigger than a two-minute teaser Switch got. Now, obviously, nothing happened in June, and... We don't know if the teaser is a bigger deal than the two-minute teaser we got for Switch, uh, but that's something that we don't know until they actually drop that teaser. Now, there was also him saying that a Direct was set for April. The very first week of April, however, he did update everyone apologizing for getting their hopes up. The information he heard was old, as in before the delay, and there wouldn't be a proper Direct until the typical June time. But we'll get to that in a moment. He also updated at the time that he no longer believes Switch 2 would get shown in June. That thought was based on the idea that the launch was pushed from November to March, according to his sources, so he just guessed, and everything was pushed three to four months. Now, I want to clarify here, the reason I'm not showing that right now is we're going to be going in chronological order of the things he has said. So we will get to it a little bit later, showing that, yeah, he did update this, and he was wrong about some stuff here, because it's important to note that, like, hey, and we're not just here to like make him look good. He was wrong, and we're going to get to that. Now we get to this post. Now, he admitted this all the way back in February that he at no point earlier this year had heard anything about reveal plans, be it March, June, or whatever. So while some point to, him, to say in June, it was just an opinion at the time. Uh, it is important when fact-checking someone, we separate out opinions from sourced information. Uh, but again... This was just at the time. He later clarifies that he has sources. So we're just kind of going through the history of Brazil, a.k.a. Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa. Now, while he never gave specifics, he did drop a note back in February that while he doesn't know everything about Nintendo had coming in 2024, he was pretty excited for what is coming out. This is not really a notch to be correct, I would say, as it's just a subjective opinion, and he didn't tell us what games would be coming but I'm excited for Mario and Luigi Brothership, Echoes of Wisdom, and Mario Party Jamboree. And if he knew about those games, I'm guessing he was as well. But, you know, what are you going to do about that? It, 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 this is just something he said. If you want to give him credit for it, that's on you. So right now, you know, he hasn't had a lot correct, right? So let's keep going. So it's interesting that while Nate the Hate and a few others were pushing hard that Nintendo was revealing the system in March pre-delay, it is notable Brazil said at the time uh, the only thing he heard might happen in March or April was Nintendo just admitting it exists. And you can see it in here. He said, I hoped things would be clear in March, but that was based on prior info. As I mentioned a couple times today, I've actually heard that they might say the thing exists in April, not March. But I might, but I have very little. So he's like, I don't really know anything about the reveal, but the only thing I have heard is they might say it exists in April. Now, why does that matter? Well, they didn't say it in April, to be clear, but Nintendo did come out a week into May. So one week, <laughs> you'll get at this, one week after April, 
So he was a little off here, and he admitted he wasn't. He doesn't have a lot of info here on this stuff. Uh, they admitted it exists. We see it right here. Uh, you know, they, they talked about how they're going to hold the June, uh, but we will make an announcement about the successor to the Nintendo Switch this fiscal year. There you go. They did exactly what he said. He heard they did. They just didn't do it exactly when. So I think he should get partial credit for that. Um, it's just my personal opinion. If you don't want to give him credit for it, I get it. Uh, but I, I think that he should get a little credit for that as being one of the people to say that that would, that would happen. Now let's get back to some of his leaks. On February 18th, he said a partner showcase. See, it's February 18th here. He said a partner showcase would be happening because he sees the partner showcase thing on Wednesday. And as fate would have it, the partner showcase happened on February 21st, 2024, three days later, which, hey, that happened to be a Wednesday. Now we get to some more stuff where he does admit on having at least a source for an April Direct and a June reveal. He also clarifies that things are in flux, and later you will see soon that he admits that his source was repeating old information. Uh, but, like, yeah, you see it right here. Here's what I've heard post-Friday. Direct in April, General Mini, Indie World before that, probably March, June 1st, which to reveal everything's always in flux, but he's feeling good. Again, this stuff was wrong. Well, the Indie World was actually right. Uh, it, it didn't happen in March. It happened in April. But he, he that that part ended up being right. But the other, the, the two big things, you know, the Direct and the Switch 2 reveal were obviously incorrect. So, you know, it made people distrust him. So here he is in April admitting to being wrong. So things aren't looking too good. So far, he says, hey, everyone, I don't want to leave you hanging for the entire month. So here I am. You'll remember the info I had back during the Switch 2 delay week was that we would have a direct in April and any world presentation prior to that. I had those leaks uh, come up a couple days after the Switch 2 discussions, but now I believe that the event itself was already outdated or the information was already outdated. I no longer believe we'll get a direct this month, again, April. Uh, apart from one person who heard rumblings two weeks ago, no one else seems to have heard anything about an April direct since then, which they probably would have at this point. One particular source uh, said that they talked about an April direct before, is now expecting the next one to happen around the obvious Summer Game Fest time frame, so late May. June, etc. Um, and maybe even this is wrong, but we'll get a PlayStation Xbox event in that time frame. The Indie World seems to have been planned to be aired pre-GDC, but I guess all of those plans went out the window immediately as well. He's just guessing. He just hasn't heard anything about it. Anyways, that's it. It's the beauty of talking about planned event dates months in advance. I'll catch flack for this, and that's all right. But hopefully that helps people settle back and enjoy games coming out instead of getting anxious for more announcements for a while. Uh, and apologies to people who are looking forward to stuff. I mean, he's being nice about it here, but yeah, this is like the, the big thing people talk about this year that he just was wrong about. Uh, but we got to get into even more stuff because obviously that wasn't the last time he spoke up. He said he's been talking about events all year. So let's get into what he said in May. He did a podcast info revealing a bunch of stuff. It's in Portuguese. Uh, and he added to a summary made of it over on Family Boards. And here's what it said. Switch 2 at that time, at that time, back in May, was still slated for March and expect to switch to announcement sometime between September and November. I guess we'll see still on that. Uh, he, he did say that he thought third parties could now list Nintendo Switch successor as a platform from June on forward, and this hasn't happened. That might have been an opinion. I don't know, but it didn't happen. Uh, he said a direct in June, which we obviously know we had a June direct, but a partner direct is still scheduled for later in the year. A June Direct is the last Direct dedicated to just Switch. Again, we'll see. We haven't had like a real Direct since then. We had a, a uh, uh, what is it, a, a Museum Direct, which wasn't dedicated to just Switch. Uh, Nintendo will announce more remasters in the Direct, and hey, they did. Hello, Donkey Kong in January. They also said that he was told an Indie World is happening in August. August and something about third party games for Switch 2 being revealed sometime in the third quarter of the year. And that has yet to be seen. Also, technically, we have yet to see an indie world. Uh, but again, this was all the way back in May. I want to clarify because he updates the indie world date, but it's, just remember that this is again months ahead of time. Brazil then on June 15th told everyone the June Direct was Tuesday in the morning. Uh, right here. It says it's Tuesday in the morning, and yes, this is in the Nintendo Direct speculation thread at that time. So he was saying, Tuesday in the morning, Nintendo Direct. And hey, as you would have it, Tuesday morning of that week, on June 18th, just three days later, we got the Nintendo Direct. So boom, we got both Direct, like the exact days correct that happened 
Although it was obviously, you know, within days of the event happening. Keep that in mind that he keeps getting these things right very close to when they happen. Whereas when he talks about things further away, they seem to change. So we're going to get into some of that stuff. Now, another thing was he was asked about Dragon Quest. Because, look, uh, the Direct had Dragon Quest information. We all know this. So he was asked if he knew about the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D. This was being rumored online. Um, if it would be released this year, because no one really had when it would release. And he initially said, as you're seeing on screen, that he doesn't believe it's releasing this year. I haven't heard anything. He said this on June 17th, the day before the Direct happened. But then he responded to himself, and we'll see it right here, uh, and he said, <coughs> LMAO, never mind, still on June 17th. I just found out the date. It's this year. Oh, but it gets even better than that, because you might be thinking, all right, maybe he's just jacking that from another insider. Well, how about jacking this from another insider? You can't just say that. This is still such a long wait. It's mid-November. Ha, ha, ha. I'm talking about Dragon Quest, by the way, just to be clear. It's mid-November. And when is Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D coming out? When is that remake coming out? November 15th. Literally the exact middle of November. You couldn't be more spot on. And he said this back in June, the day before it was. So like he obviously in this case clearly knew. This was like his kind of stick your flagpole down. I know this thing is mid-November before anyone else did. And there were no other insiders making that same report. Then obviously we get into the stuff we've been talking about in the past week. Now I've said I would I would give an update on the Indie World thing. He had one other statement on the Indie World. Uh, he said uh, earlier this month that the Indie World, he went on Family Awards, had been moved to September. So uh, keep in mind that he originally said the Indie World was in August back in May. Now he's saying it's in September. Uh, but this, this actually all kind of makes sense. Because while this is just his history this year per his podcast and Family Awards, this was the easiest stuff for me to track because – a lot of it is in English or has been summarized in English versus chasing down every single written article he's ever wrote at every publication he's worked at in Brazil. Certainly don't take this as a definitive list of everything he's been right or wrong about, but the idea was to try to give context for what we're talking about today with Nintendo Directs and Switch 2 stuff. So what do I think? Well, if you noticed, his most accurate statements all happen shortly before something goes down. Meanwhile, his least accurate stuff is always about things that are months out. What this tells me is that he certainly has real sources in the industry, but the industry itself is ever-changing. The closer to something being revealed or shown, the less likely it is to be delayed, especially if it hasn't been publicly announced yet. So when he says he heard this event is happening two or three months from now, there is a much higher chance of that event moving than something happening this week or within a couple of weeks. In other words, yes, in my opinion, Pedro Henrique Ludalipa is legit. He knows what he's talking about. And simply put, the timing of things that are a ways out could always change. But it doesn't mean the information is bad. The closer to things coming, the more accurate the information becomes. Now, how do we conclude what's happening? Well, if what we heard earlier this year is true about what's happening post-June Direct, what we should be expecting is a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Now, he said that some time ago now, and plans could have absolutely changed to a general Nintendo Direct. It is noteworthy, when he said more is happening this month besides the Museum Direct, he didn't take that chance to clarify a Partner Mini or General Direct. That technically leaves all possibilities on the table, but if it is a Partner, it's notable that not only will that make him right a long time ago, it also still fits in him being right recently. Though any of the other two happening, you know, a, a Mini or a General, makes him wrong a long time ago, but still correct recently, which still fits into that narrative of info that several months out can change, whereas info closer to actually happening is most accurate. So it still wouldn't even really debunk him, but it would work in his favor just for extra credibility if it happened to be a partner direct. But in other words, it kind of doesn't matter because it's sort of win-win in my opinion. Of course, all that matters to me is his most recent stuff uh, as it's all soon. Uh, if we get some sort of direct again this month, that makes his recent stuff true, which then leads to, well, an indie world next month and an expectation at least of something related to Switch 2 uh, probably before the end of September. He didn't give an exact date on that, but uh, there's indications that it's fairly soon. So 
Hey. Look, guys, I know this is a really long video with most of it just detailing out the, the history of this person just this year, mostly on family boards and obviously through his podcast. But I think something we, we just have to accept is, and this is just something I know just from talking to developers. I, I don't really, like, I, I know some game developers, and I don't talk about most of the stuff that they bring up because I'm just not allowed to. But I just know from talking to them that, yeah, stuff changes behind the scenes all the time. Like, there could be targets that get missed or new plans that come up or like a, a real world thing happens and that that can alter stuff. So plans change all the time. And I, I'm kind of well aware of this as somebody that's a little bit has my toe dipped into the industry. So it's not surprising to me that someone like Pedro Henrique could be wildly inaccurate on saying stuff that's happening months out. And that's why like people said, I can't believe that anyone would even know about things happening that far out. And it's like, well, it's not that people know 100% for sure. It's just that there's rumblings, right? There's like, hey, if a developer has a game that's going to be in multiple events, like they could be like, hey, I know our game's going to be in an upcoming indie world. I know our game's going to be in an upcoming direct. I know our game is going to be in the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal trailer. Like, I know, I know, I know. But then they go, well, you know, based on the conversations we had, this is the time frame of it. But that changes. Like, that's kind of the thing. Like, it's not that any one person knows what each one of these things are. It's that you have separate sourcing for all these different things. And they happen to have stuff they know is going to be in it because it's a game from their studio. And obviously, they have communications with Nintendo, with Nintendo giving them a general time frame for when they expect to release that thing to advertise their product. So, whew, it's a lot to say. Yes, things move. Yes, things change. But how many more times has this guy got to be right? Like everything that happens like soon, he's right about. He was right about the exact day of the February Direct and it being a partner showcase. Uh, he was a, right on the exact day of the June Direct. Uh, he was so far right this month where he said we were going to have multiple presentations from September. And we don't know if they were ever planned for September, but at least multiple presentations happening the rest of August. We've already had one. And if we get one more, he's right again. And heck, if that one more is a partner showcase, that makes him right again back in May when he said that there would be no more dedicated Switch Directs and that it's going to be a partner showcase. So I, I just, I, I, and again, in terms of like recently, even if it's not that and it's a general direct or a mini, he's still right, at least with his recent stuff, like when he's closer to dates rather than obviously May was months ago. So like, as I just said, like months ago, maybe that was the plan and then things change and now they're doing like a direct mini because they have a couple Nintendo things they want to announce. Mostly still a partner showcase, but some first party stuff included. So I'm just going to sit back and go, I think he's fairly reliable. I think at this point, I, it's quite easy to see if you look at the pattern that uh, when he says something's happening pretty far out, that thing's probably happening, just not when it probably just won't happen at the exact time frame that he's specifying. Um, things like, hey, you know, the Switch 2 coming in March. Yeah. That is something that he said a couple of times, but again, many, many months out, if it doesn't come in March, again, plans change, right? So uh, he obviously seems to be right about it not coming in 2024, right? That was one of his original reports, and obviously we're not done with 2024 yet, but I think it's safe to say it's not coming out this year. Oh, man. All that to say... Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you appreciated this research. It took a while to compile uh, and dig through, verify all this stuff, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I enjoyed it as well. Hopefully this adds just uh, some context to uh, what we're talking about. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.